time for another clubhouse conversation here on Hooks TV. I'm Sam Levitt and joining us this week is Hooks outfielder Drew Ferguson, who's off to a great start in 2017. Uh, you've been a table setter at the top of the lineup, have hit for some power as well. How do you feel about your start? Um, I actually think that I could have done better. Uh, I think that's kind of how, you know, I perceive my career. I always held myself to a pretty high standard, but things have gotten off uh, to a good enough start, I'll put it that way. I'm not, you know, ecstatic or over the top excited, more just kind of, uh, I feel like I'm performing at expectations, but um, I do expect a lot out of myself, so hopefully I will get better as the season progresses. You spent most of last year at high A, came to Corpus Christi late in the year, had a good amount of success. And everybody says double A is the make or break level. A lot of guys weeded out at this level. Having that kind of success late in the year, did that give you some confidence going into the off season? Yeah, I think one of the biggest parts about getting some experience up here is kind of the nature of the Texas League. Right. Um, of course, we play the same team so many times. Uh, it was good to just get exposed to some of the, the players, some of the pitchers that I was going to see um, throughout the course of this season. Uh, you know, I can obviously have a better idea how they're going to pitch me. Um, you know, just have a feel for who I might see and, you know, how they might, uh, again, attack me in any given situation. So with experience, of course, you're going to build some confidence. Uh, you're going to be more comfortable. And, you know, that's important at the beginning of the season when you're looking for that co that confidence and that comfort, that level of comfort, uh, especially at the plate. So, yeah, I think coming up here a lot to get a taste of double A last year was definitely um, a pretty big reason about sure. for, for why I've been able to start pretty well this year. Well, certainly you've gotten off to a nice start here in 2017, and you were a part of one really cool moment earlier this year, back to back to back home runs. You were the final one, first pitch swinging. Let's take a look. Fly out of here. Ferguson swings. Goodbye. Down the left field line and out of here. So in that situation, are you trying to hit a home run there? In that actual situation, 100%. <laughs> and the funny thing about it is this is kind of some insider knowledge. I'm not sure if Jose Trevino, the Frisco's catcher, would, would want me to say this. But when I, uh, when I dug into the box there, he actually said, he just said, you won't. <laughs> so at that point, I'm gearing up for a fastball and uh, trying to trying to leave the yard for sure. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. I love the honesty, love the inside baseball as Drew Ferguson joins us here on Clubhouse Conversation. You went to Belmont University with one of your teammates here in Corpus Christi, Jamie Ritchie. What's been the experience going through all this with Jamie? It's been pretty cool. Uh, Jamie was one of my best friends in college and uh, to not only be in the same league and level, but to be on the same team is obviously a unique experience for for any college teammates, but especially from a school like Belmont, a mid-major where, um, you know, you're not churning out just a ton of draft guys every year. Um, but it's been great to kind of experience uh, professional baseball with someone you're close with. I've played with them at a couple different stops now. Uh, we're road roommates. And uh, we're still wearing out the same jokes that we did in college. So six <laughs> years running. <laughs> yeah, I, I know if I was playing with some of my college roommates, we would never stop with the joking. As Drew Ferguson joins us here on Clubhouse Conversation, I've heard you say before that you're a very cerebral player. You think a lot about the game. What's your mental approach like on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, well, I'm the type of player that I don't have all of the physical gifts that a lot of people do even if at this level, and especially I wouldn't if I were to make it to the big leagues. So I really have to use every shred of information, you know, every uh, developmental tool I can to maximize my, my potential. I don't have, you know, any particular tool that stands out. Right. Um, so it's all about, you know, gaining the upper hand, whether that be at the plate, whether that be, you know, studying uh, opposing hitters to see how I should play them defensively, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, it pretty much just comes down to just 
kind of shading things in to my advantage as best I can. And, you know, that's been a, a big part of my success in my career, um, something that I pride myself in. So I hope to keep learning more and hopefully be able to leverage that even even more as my career progresses. And you come from a school in Belmont in the Ohio Valley Conference that only had seven players picked in the 2015 draft. Do you feel like there's a little bit of a chip on your shoulder as you go along here? To some extent, yeah. Um, I think that goes for any later round right. pick. I was picked in the 19th round. You know, anyone that doesn't get labeled with the, the prospect tag immediately has a lot to prove. They have to perform at every stop. Right. So I think that mentality of uh, having a chip on your shoulder goes hand in hand with that. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it just comes down to performance right. you know, at, at this level and going forward. If you perform well, it doesn't matter really who you are. Um, if, you do, if you do well enough, you'll be able to keep moving up. So. Well, certainly the proof is in the pudding so far for you. You've done well at every level you've been at in the Astros organization. Finally, what do you do in the offseason? Is there anything you're involved with outside of baseball? Uh, I spend a lot of time in Nashville in the offseason. Favorite city, for sure. I've been all over the place with baseball, and that's that's what I, where I like to call home in the offseason. Um, this offseason, I played winter ball in Puerto Rico. That kind of ties back in with wanting to give myself the upper hand, kind of come in to the beginning of the season in maybe a mid-season form. Um, and I wouldn't be opposed to playing again. So maybe this offseason, I'll, I'll go play abroad, experience something right. different, live in a different country again. If not, um, probably have to pick up an off-season job. I've, I've bartended before. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but for the most part, I'm a pretty social guy, so just hanging out with friends, um, enjoying the Nashville lifestyle, and uh, of course, always trying to better myself as a baseball player, which is kind of a necessity. So. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you have it pretty good. You spend your off season in Nashville and Puerto Rico, two pretty cool places. You get to spend the summer here in Corpus Christi as Drew Ferguson joins us here on Clubhouse Conversation. Drew, thanks so much for joining us. Have a great rest of the season. Thank you. We'll talk to you next time on Hooks TV.